So now you guys are probably pretty comfortable with the ZBrush interface and you're probably getting tired of going over here and just hunting and pecking. So I'm going to do a little bit of custom UI stuff with you guys. And I'm going to start with hotkeys and then we're going to get into custom menu UIs. Now, I wouldn't say up to this point you will have the perfect custom menu ready to go. In fact, I don't even have the perfect custom menu ready to go and I've been doing this for a while. So I've got a bunch of stuff in this custom menu, which is just this little custom menu I made here. I have it assigned to a hotkey. Um, if I'm doing Z-Sphere stuff, I can have a menu up here for that. Modified topology and poly modeling are kind of the same thing. I just kind of go back and forth. So I really need to go back in and kind of clean this up and make it better. Um, but as you guys go forward, you'll see how easy creating number one hotkeys and the number two, a custom UI, how easy it is. So you know, don't get too in a rut with your bad custom UI. Go ahead and make a new one. Um, but definitely use a custom UI. Just if you feel like you're stuttering or having to spend a lot of time doing stuff in ZBrush that isn't right on the middle of your screen, if you're having to go over here a lot or hunt and peck a lot and you're getting a headache and doing this a lot, go ahead and get make yourself a custom UI so you can stay more on the screen. If you need to grab something real quick, it's all right here, and then you can hop right back in because ZBrush is all about creating, hopefully not about you know hunting and pecking. So having said all that, let's set some hotkeys. So my hotkeys that I use all the time and that I used on this thing pretty much exclusively was like a clay brush, move brush, standard brush, uh, maybe a little trim dynamic, maybe a little clay buildup. All these things I have assigned to hotkeys. Uh, when I'm navigating, I have my thumb over the alt key because I'm constantly like using alt to kind of navigate around. And so <clears throat> it just made sense for me to go ahead and just assign hotkeys with alt and then a, a, a letter. How you can assign hotkeys is you go over here, let's say you want to assign a hotkey to a brush. You can assign a hotkey to almost any interface item, but we're going to start with a brush. So I'm going to go over here to brushes, and I'm just going to pick one over here. That's weird that I don't have assigned already. So I'm going to do um, curve try fill. Now I'm going to do, I'm going to hold down control alt, oops, I'm going to hold down control alt, and I'm going to tap it. And you're going to notice up in the upper left hand corner, it's going to say press any key combination to assign a custom hotkey. So if I want to assign this to a hotkey, let's say I want to assign this to alt J is going to say at the note at the top, custom hockey assigned successfully. So now when I'm going through my brushes, if I hit Alt J, it's going to switch to curve try fill. So Alt S is my standard brush. Alt B is my clay tubes. It's actually not clay billow, but it used to be. Alt T is trim. Alt Q I have assigned to uh, Z modeler and it's yelling at me because I turned off my dynamic size, which we haven't talked about yet. And so Z modeler. So I can very quickly cycle through a, all the brushes that I use quite a bit clay brush, trim dynamic. H polish, all that good stuff, and very quickly just access these brushes. So while I'm sculpting in here, it's like, okay, now I'm in standard brush mode. I want to dig these things in. I'm going to smooth. And if I want to dig this muscle in here, I can do that with my standard brush really quickly. And then I can switch over to clay brush just by Alt C. And it's just more of a feel thing than it is like looking down for Alt C. So there's my clay brush. Uh, if I want to pinch these together, it's Alt Y. And it used to be Alt Q for some reason, but then I assign Alt Q to Z Modeler just because I use it all the time. And then I was like, well, what key looks like I'm pinching something together? And it was ended up being the Y key is kind of like, you know, it's a V that goes down. I don't know. You assign them whatever makes sense to you. So you can use pinch a little bit. So if I want to go through here and maybe like pinch his mouth shut just a little, I can quickly do that. Um, inflate is Alt I. I don't use that a lot, so it is kind of an uncomfortable distance to reach for inflate. But since I use it just enough to kind of do this kind of stuff, um, I do still have that assigned to a hotkey. You're going to notice down here I have some stuff that I very rarely use. In fact, sometimes when I'm just working on a project, I'll throw brushes down here that I kind of use and then forget about them. So these ones I don't ever use. Uh, snake hook I use occasionally, so I'll just reach down here and grab it. It doesn't really warrant a hotkey or an assignment into a custom UI, but you know that's kind of up to you. And like I said, if you want to assign a hotkey to something else, like a menu, so this menu I have assigned to a hotkey, um, I'm going to go ahead and go to this texture menu. So on the texture menu, I'm going to hold down Control alt and I'm going to tap texture and I'm going to do Alt-J. Uh, that's the one we just assigned to Curve Try Fill. And so it's, it's already assigned to this interface item. Hit OK to reassign it to this one or cancel to a board. I'm going to hit OK. So now when I hit Alt-J, it's not going to be Curve Try Fill. It's actually going to pop that texture menu up right where my cursor is. So while I'm working, if I want to have quick access to texture stuff, here's that entire texture menu. Same thing with this custom menu that I made. I have that assigned to Alt-A and I can just very quickly grab anything that I need. Now, before you think you're done, um, don't go assigning a bunch of hotkeys and then start working because what might end up happening is ZBrush might crash and then none of your hotkeys are going to be saved. 
Uh, when you go to exit out of ZBrush, before it exits, it'll go, hey, do you want to save your hotkeys? You'll say yes. Another thing you can do to, just to make sure you're saving your hotkeys besides shutting down ZBrush is go to your preferences and do a config and hit store config. Now you can also in here go down to hotkeys and there's a, you can load your hotkeys, you can save your hotkeys, you can go ahead and save them or you can load them from a save place, you can store them, you can restore your hotkeys, so if you want to carry your hotkeys somewhere else you can use all of these. Um, but I usually just hit a quick store config which is control shift I and that'll save my hotkeys and then of course when you exit out of ZBrush it might reconfirm that you want to save your hotkeys, go ahead and do that and then you know your hotkeys are nice and saved.